Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to World of Warships with Rear Admiral Jingles. And yep, do not adjust your screens, that is some weird kind of replay bug. The enemy team list is not being shown. Uh, this confused the hell out of me, as you can see, it's happening right here in the battle itself as well. You look at the top of the screen and the only ships that you'll see are the friendly ships. Although the enemy team list is visible on the right hand side of the screen. At first I thought this was some kind of weird... Is this, is this how they do clan wars <laughs> in World of Warships? Because in World of Tanks, in clan wars, you don't actually see what tanks the enemy team have until you physically see the enemy tanks. But no, it's just a replay bug. Anyway, um, I should probably get on with things. So, yes, the FR-25 Tier 7 Italian Destroyer being played for us today by none other than all-round good egg, snappy dresser, and scintillating conversationalist, TC Free. I... TC... <laughs> I have to admit, I thought, what's going on there? I can hear the collision sound effect, but there's not... Oh, right, the submarine, okay. Didn't even see it. I suspect he didn't either. Uh, but he is a thoroughly nice chap, so immediately upon realising his error, he gets out of the way, because that's just the kind of guy he is. Honestly, TC really is one of the nicest people I know. If you watch his stream on Twitch, I guarantee you, you will come to the same conclusion within minutes. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, that's the second time i said that now. I should probably actually get around to doing it. So, yes, the FR-25 Tier 7 Italian Destroyer. Um, so, I want to say this thing never existed. Uh, and that's technically true, but it's also technically incorrect, because this is basically the French Japard, except with some... Italian things about it. So what are the Italians doing with French destroyers? Well, that's why I want to say this thing technically never existed, because Wargaming's justification for this being in the Italian tech tree is that the Italians would have salvaged and refurbished it after the French scuttled their navy at Toulon after the fall of France. But it was the Germans who occupied <laughs> France, not the Italian... Oh, Wargaming. Anyway, cap circle. Enemy destroyer attempting to cap. Oh, this is very brave. Destroyers rushing the cap right at the start of the game. Well, yeah and no. There are no carriers in play, and this is only Tier 7, so I don't think there are any radars either. It's difficult to say for sure because replay bug, no enemy team list. Ooh, narrowly avoided getting pinged by the enemy submarine over there. Very brave submarine, by the way. Spotted and continuing to engage. Unfortunately, TC Freer is also spotted, so the enemy destroyer in the smoke screen isn't shooting at him? What? Really? Okay. Fine. High-speed smoke engaged. He's shooting at him now. But there goes the destroyer. He is no longer spotted. Depth charges away. Oh, we're scoring hits. Could this be a double strike? Oh. Oh. Come on. No, no, it's been too long. Two kills, but no double strike. They have to happen within 10 seconds of each other. Okay, so he lost half of his health, but that's two kills. And this cap circle is now wide open. And that, in a nutshell, is the FR-25 for you. It's, um, it's, it's kind of like a tier 7 version of the Paolo Emilio. A sort of high-risk, high-reward gameplay style. Pop that high-speed smoke and choo-choo, you might live, you might die, but you're definitely taking somebody with you. <laughs> and apparently this isn't a very popular ship. People think it's bad. I don't really think that's fair. It's just, you know, it requires, it requires balls and a certain flagrant disregard for your own well-being <laughs> in order to... Uh, and, and a certain amount of luck, I have to admit. Uh, in order to do well in this thing. But it's never boring. It's very much a, a live fast, die young, and leave a good-looking corpse kind of ship. I mean, you can play it safe. It's pretty fast. And the guns have good range. But if you're just cruising around at maximum gun range, doing chip damage at enemy ships, trying to play this thing like a tier 7 version of the Kabarosk, you're missing the point. That's just not what this thing's for. It doesn't inspire quite the same amount of terror as the Paolo Emilio. I mean, if you're in a high-tier game and you see a Paolo Emilio smokescreen charging towards you at 50 knots, <laughs> you're probably going to die. You might take him with you, but you are definitely going to die. I mean, it's not that fast. 
the actual speed is actually fairly pedestrian. It's only 36 knots, but it does have an engine boost and it's got that Italian high speed smoke. The optimal way to play this thing is to play around that high speed smoke generator cooldown. Once it's ready, you want to be in position to do a suicide run. Which isn't really the case here, he, he doesn't have a firing arc for his torpedoes on the enemy destroyer there before it gets into cover. But he is able to pop the high speed smoke and pelt him with a semi armor piercing shells. Reload on the guns isn't terrible. 6.6 .6 seconds, which is fine. And it has five guns and the firing arcs on the guns aren't that bad either. The enemy guider is having none of this, and very wisely... Well, he can't return fire because the high-speed smoke's engaged. He can't see anything to shoot at. All he can do is get shot at. High-speed smoke does not last very long, however. But then again... I mean, it's not the stealthiest destroyer in the world, either. TC's got the stealth on this thing down to 6.3 kilometers, which, you know, it's not great, but it's certainly not bad. And there's a certain synergy that exists between the surface detection range and the range of these torpedoes because he will basically get spotted at a range of 6.3 kilometers which gives whoever spots him a 300 meter window of opportunity to do something before they're inside the fr-25's torpedo range speaking of torpedoes oh hello bit of sneaky torpedo beats going on here no problem so you see this thing coming and then a fraction of a second later it's closed from 6.3 kilometers, which is its surface detection range, to 6 kilometers, which is the range of its torpedoes. <laughs> and then it pops its high speed smoke and chugga 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 choo 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 choo. Somebody's gonna die. It might be the FR25, it might be you, but somebody is going to die. Why is the Fubuki not shoot? Oh yeah, of course, the Fubuki didn't want to die, so it popped its own smokescreen. And the Fubuki was the one spotting him, so he's undetected. Fubuki did manage to take down the enemy Gator before he lost sight of him, so uh, the enemy team are actually ahead. Yep, they're up by two kills. Bloody hell. Oh, he's hydroed. Okay. Now why is the Fubuki not shooting at him? Because he's spotted. Not by the Fubuki. Somebody's got him pinned with Hydro from the other side of the island. And the Fubuki, undetected, instead of using his guns, is trying to torpedo him. I mean, there are obviously going to be torpedoes coming out of that smoke screen. TC's anticipated them because, obviously... But while you can anticipate high explosive shells, dodging them is an entirely different matter, and TC was definitely hydroed. I mean, it's a Fubuki, its guns aren't amazing. Slow reload, very slow turret rotation, but TC was hydroed for long enough that if the Fubuki had his guns pointing this way, and there's no reason why he shouldn't have, he was clearly aiming in this direction because his torpedoes were fired in this direction, the Fubuki could have gotten two, possibly three salvos away, and while its guns are bad, the high explosive shells hit really hard. So he absolutely had the chance to kill TC there with his guns, but Japanese destroyer and my torpedoes. So, yeah, oh, and he's, wow, how do you get, how does a Fubuki get outspotted by an FR, a Fubuki in a smoke screen getting outspotted by an FR-25? Oh, he takes a big hit there from the King George V's high explosive. That could have killed him. And now he's hydroed. And once again, the Fubuki, my torpedoes. No, shoot him. <laughs> he won't see you because He's inside smoke. More torpedoes. Hang on a second, there was a second enemy destroyer. Oh shit, yeah, it's the guider. He's back. Here go the torpedo beats. He's still hydroed. He needs to nail this guy. Remove the hydro threat. Come on. Gotcha. And now he's visually spotted, which means... Oh shit, he death. The October Revolution's with it. Right. Here we go. Chugga 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 choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> October Revolution's guns weren't even pointing in the direction of the smoke screen charging towards him at 40 knots. The Fubuki finally remembers he has guns, but it's a day late and a dollar short. There's the double strike. October Revolution down. Fubuki down. Let's not forget he got the Gator as well, so there's the Kraken unleashed. <laughs> and, uh, let me just have a quick peek at the screen, get my eyes a little closer to the monitor. How much health does he have left? 117 more than he needs. <laughs> and that, kids, that's the FR-25. 
<laughs> it's like I said, chugga 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 choo choo, somebody's gonna die. It might be you, it might be the enemy, but somebody is definitely going to die. Right then, TC, you might want to chill out for a bit. <laughs> Give your back a bit of a rest. <laughs> You're actually ahead. Uh, you've got 300 points on the enemy team. Both teams control two cap circles. Um, but you're ahead on kills. So, yeah. You might want to just sneak some of those cap circles. Play it safe for a while. Although safe is a relative term, because I think the King George V was around the corner. King George V definitely shot at him from around about here. I mean, he's got the high-speed smoke ready to go and the torpedoes are aimed, but this is really dangerous, because the King George V doesn't even have to see him to kill him with 118 health. The second he gets spotted, the secondaries will start shooting and will kill him in a single hit, but there's no sign of the King George V. Somebody's flipping Charlie where TC just came from, but that's the Koenig, and the Latso is up at Cap Circle Bravo. Where the hell did the King George V go? Because he was right here. He took a shot at TC and did a fairly large amount of damage, which of course the Fabuki completely failed to capitalise on. So the Koenig's just flipped... Charlie. Nobody's taking Bravo while the Lazo's there. They're going to have to kill him, although the team are doing a reasonable job of that. TC is flipping Delta. Where did the King George V go? How is it possible to lose at something the size of a King George V class battleship? You can tell by the way TC keeps checking around the corners of these uncomfortably close islands that that thought is very much weighing very heavily on his mind, but he's managed to sneak this cap circle. Uh, the team once again have parity on cap circles, two cap circles for each team. The enemy team have narrowed the gap, they're now only about 250 points behind, although the Lazo does look like he's in serious trouble. The Koenig has just popped up. Can't see how much health the Koenig has remaining. Oh, and the King George V has just popped up. He's with the Koenig. Okay. Yeah, TC just confirmed that he's not going to get spotted by them because they will have line of sight, but they won't have range for it. He's focusing on the Lazo, who is running away on a sliver of health from the rest of TC's team, who are now flipping the cap circle at Bravo that the Lazo was occupying. Now, remember, these torpedoes do only have a 6 kilometer range, but they're not that slow. Top speed of 68 knots. It might be wise to use your smoke here, TC, because even if the Lazo isn't paying attention, its secondaries will be. And if it spots you, it can kill you. Yeah. Yeah, good call. We'll do that again. And I believe this is going to be kill number 6. Boom, headshot. Got him. That just leaves the Koenig and the King George, and I'm pretty sure they're doing the smart thing and sticking together. And remember, TC does only have 118 health left, and he's only got one charge remaining on the high-speed smoke. Still got two charges of his engine boost, though. Now, at this point, the only thing the team has to do is stay alive. They're 400 points up. They have three of the four cap circles. TC is about to flip the fourth and final cap circle, which means, well, actually it means a couple of things. Because with six and a half minutes of this battle left, I mean, this battle isn't going to last a further six and a half minutes because TC's team are going to have all four of the cap circles and they're going to reach a thousand points and win probably in less than two minutes. That means that the only way the enemy team can stave off the inevitable is to start sinking ships. So all TC's team have to do is not die. Seems fairly simple. The only way the enemy team can win this is if anybody on TC's team does something incredibly stupid. Oh, hi Colorado. Didn't see you there. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? If it's a Colorado, it's really slow. What choice does he have? Well, he could have made the choice two minutes ago when he was up to the north of Cap Circle Alpha to not charge south into two enemy battleships. I know what else you're thinking. He has to defend that Cap Circle. No, he doesn't. The team have three cap circles, even if the enemy team take that one. I know what else you're thinking. Well, maybe he can take one of them with him, and then at least it's a points-neutral exchange. And okay, yes, I'll give you that one. But he fails to even do that. He somehow managed to contrive a way to do a point-blank range 
full broadside drive-by on a battleship two tiers lower than him while armed with 16-inch guns and still failed to kill him, dying himself in the process. Fortunately, the friendly Gator was able to finish the Koenig off, so it is a points-neutral exchange, but not due to anything that the Colorado did. 937 points, all four of the caps. They're going to win in 30 seconds or less. Unless people keep feeding themselves to that King George V. Now, TC, of course, has the high-speed smoke and the engine boost going. So he is perfectly safe here, at least as long as that high-speed smoke lasts, which is another six seconds. So there's not going to be any chugga 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 choo choo going on here, but there doesn't need to be. He just needs to get to within torpedo range and not get detected. And with the team at 997 points, that is something that the guider completely failed to do. But it doesn't matter because you know, this isn't an episode of Game of Thrones, and despite his team's best attempts to throw in order to chalk up a few more points of damage, TC, at least, is smart enough to know that all he has to do is stay alive for the next three seconds. Nobody else dies, because nobody else is in a position to die. Otherwise, anything could have happened. The team reaches a thousand points, and he wins. I say he wins and not his team wins, because while it is technically true that his team did win, I think we can... I think we can all agree that we know who actually won it. So, yeah. That's pretty impressive, though. Six kills. Only 80,000 damage, but he was battering destroyers. Well, well, with the exception of that glorious kill, where I think most of his damage probably came from, on the, I mean, the October Revolution that just blundered right into a 40-knot smokescreen without realising that there might be some torpedoes coming out of it. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Hey, never interrupt with the enemy when they're making a mistake. Um, so, yeah, TC Freer. Thoroughly nice chap. Always happy to feature one of his replays. Uh, link in the description to his Twitch channel. Just in case you fancy supporting him directly. He definitely deserves it. And that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. TC, thank you very much. More like that in future, please. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.